Hey, how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Kanjinsula. I hope you're having a good day and welcome to today's Pokemon Go discussion video. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about Pokemon Go as a game. I'm going to be giving you kind of a state of the game address and talk about what I think about Pokemon Go as of the spring of 2024. I really do think that when it comes to Pokemon Go, there's a lot of things that they are doing right this year, especially compared to last year. But at the same time, I also feel like the gameplay is starting to get a bit redundant and I'm starting to get bored with Pokemon Go, let me be honest with you. There's a lot of things about Pokemon Go that has kept my interest over the years. I mean, first and foremost, I'm a big fan of the Pokemon franchise and that's one of the big reasons why I still play Pokemon Go. But aside from that, there really hasn't been much from a gameplay point of view that has piqued my interest. I think this is something that Niantic needs to address in the coming months, where they need to add new forms of gameplay that is going to get players engaged. I'm not just talking about PvE and PvP content, but I feel like there needs to be more with Pokemon Go. Just the everyday general gameplay just doesn't feel that rewarding, like you go out and catch a bunch of Pokemon and that's pretty much it. Personally, I don't think Pokemon Go has evolved over the years. There's certainly a lot of things about Pokemon Go in the modern age that's very different from a couple of years ago, but overall I feel like the game has been the same game for the last several years, and that's a big problem. Pokemon Go is in need of some new and fresh gameplay. I mean, Niantic has dabbled with new mechanics over the past couple of months, like with party play and with... I don't know, like <laughs> Poke Pokestop showcases, but yeah, these are just additional things. These are not, you know, game changing things. They're not additional forms of gameplay. They're just more supplemental. They basically add on to your everyday experience, but that everyday experience is what is the big issue here. I'm not that interested in going out and playing Pokemon Go as it has been for the last several years. I really want to see new stuff. I want to see some sort of contest mechanic maybe. I really do not know. But there has to be some more things. I think Pokemon Go is kind of at a point where if you've been playing for a long time, especially as long as I have, you pretty much have everything you've ever wanted. Like there's no Pokemon in my collection where I feel like a better version is out there. I have a lot of good Pokemon in my collection. That's just by playing the game. That's just by doing as many raids as I can. And I'm kind of at a point where there's nothing exciting to look forward to, even with this upcoming Pokemon Go Fest later on this year. Like, for me, it's going to be about the personal experiences, so the global event is not necessarily something I'm going to care about, but the in-person event is actually going to be a lot of fun. I personally feel like that's not good design. <laughs> if the only good thing about your game is one live in-person event every year, then you got a major problem. For the 364 days of the year, there needs to be something that players are engaging with. And yeah, there's plenty of newer players who are going to be very engaged with Pokemon Go, but for myself personally, I feel like there hasn't been much. And that's something that Niantic definitely needs to address. There are so many avenues that Niantic could go. Like first and foremost, the buddy adventure system. This is something that I've been wanting additional changes to for the longest time. And yes, Niantic has certainly improved it. There are many more opportunities for you to collect hearts now, like you can go out and complete a route and get hearts that way, but there needs to be more. There needs to be more incentives for powering up as many best buddies as you can. And then with those best buddies, you need to be able to do more. I like the idea of them adding Peridot mechanics into Pokemon Go through the buddy adventure system. Like if you interact with your buddy every day, you're gonna get additional rewards. There needs to be something. And I really feel like from a gameplay point of view, there really is no incentive for you to go through the grind of getting a Pokemon to best buddy. And I think that's a major problem. If you reach best buddies with your Pokemon, it is insane like the amount of time and effort that it requires. So there needs to be something that you could work towards. Right now, the only real incentive to getting best buddies is the one or two additional levels Levels that you get by having it as your active buddy but aside from that there really is no real reason for you to go out and grind out best buddies with your Pokemon there needs to be some sort of gameplay implication there needs to be some way for you to actually care about getting your Pokemon to best buddies here's an idea that I recently came up with regarding best buddies why not have certain PvP leagues be specifically restricted to only best buddies that would be a lot of fun, in my opinion. It would certainly reward players for doing this grind, and 
I think it would be very interesting. Another thing that they could do is add a lot of gameplay mechanics that encourages you to use best buddy Pokemon. Like for example within raid battles, like you could use mega evolutions to boost up your party but why not have something with best buddies? Like if you bring a best buddy Pokemon to a raid then you should be able to get some sort of additional bonus. Maybe that buddy will get you different items or maybe that buddy is going to deal just a little bit more damage. I really do not know what they could do but there's a lot of things that can be done to make best buddies a lot more worth it. But of course, these are just some gripes that I've had regarding Pokemon Go as a longtime player, but I do want to talk about the positives, you know? I think I've built up a reputation of being one of the most negative Pokemon Go content creators, but ultimately I do enjoy playing Pokemon Go. I haven't been playing it as much as I used to, admittingly, but I still think there's a lot of good things that Niantic has been doing to keep my interest, and I want them to build upon it even further. Recently, we had the Global Go Tour event, and unfortunately, that was not something that ended up being very exciting. But I don't think that should discourage Niantic from holding more in-person events. We do have GoFest coming later on this year, but why not add more? I really like the idea of them having City Safari events every single month. It doesn't require too much from a technical point of view, and it allows players who live in certain cities that often get neglected from getting a live in-person event. I think it would be really cool if they were to have a different City Safari every single month and kind of make it a monthly thing like community days and limited research days. That's something that would make Pokemon Go really exciting because eventually your city might get a city safari and it's definitely going to be something you will want to experience. So yeah, more live in-person events are something that I would really wish for, mainly because Niantic tends to do them really well. Even last year with the Go Tour event in Las Vegas, yeah, it was riddled with a lot of technical issues, but it was one of the most fun days of Pokemon Go that I've had in such a long time. It was a great way to reintroduce in-person events after the pandemic ended. And I think Niantic should build upon it even further. Like, they should have a lot more in-person events. From everything that I've heard, Los Angeles was phenomenal with Go Tour, And I think if they were to add a third major in-person event every year, that would be a huge plus for Pokemon Go. Naturally, there's going to be a lot of players who are going to be against that, mainly because having even one in-person event is going to be extremely difficult. But at the same time, I think that's even more of an argument for why Niantic should hold more of them. Mainly because if people are not able to fly out to a specific location for an in-person event, then they could just wait up for when their major city gets one, and I think that sort of system would be really good for Pokemon Go. And another thing that I want to highlight is these in-game events. Niantic has been designing them really well. I think most recently with this Pokemon Horizon celebration event, a lot of players were taken for surprise because it was actually a really good event. And then upcoming, we are going to be getting Weather Week, which is going to be a major Stardust grind. And there's just constantly major incentives for players to participate in these in-game events. This is something that I felt was missing last year with all of their in-game events that they had. They were mostly lackluster and they did not offer much. But this time around, it seems like event after event has been really good. And kudos to Niantic, I think they've been doing really well with them. And then finally, I think one positive that I wanted to highlight for what's been going on this year is Niantic is constantly trying. I think, you know, for the longest time, it just seems like Niantic has been very out of touch with Pokemon Go, and to some degree, I still think they are but I do feel like they've made some major strides this year. They've been trying to be more active with the Pokemon Go community, and from everything that I've heard, that is always their intention, but because of a lot of different limitations, they are just not able to do so, but there has been a lot more interactions, especially on social media. For what it's worth, I still think he is the right person for this job. He really does care about Pokemon Go, and it's very rare that someone who is very passionate about the game that they're hired on for is as passionate as Michael Storanka. So I do think there's a lot of upsides to Pokemon Go this year. I think there's a lot of things that they could do to make vast improvements. But at the same time, I also feel like we have to give them a lot of cautious optimism because Niantic has had a very bad history of not making the right decisions. It's going to be almost a year since the remote raid pass nerf, and the effects of that change has been felt for the past several months. A lot of players do not really enjoy Pokemon Go like they used to, mainly because Niantic has been rolling back so many pandemic bonuses. 
and I can understand that because there was a lot of quality of life improvements with them, but I feel like players are starting to adjust. And I think when it comes to remote raiding, players are very much aware that they are not meant to be like how they were. And a lot more people are doing in-person raids, which is encouraging to see. But of course, it's been, what, seven or eight years since Pokemon Go came out and Niantic has still not addressed the rural problem. I think it's about time Niantic did something with rural players. Like, <laughs> it's very sad that people who live in certain areas are not able to get the best experience with this game. And I'm seeing more and more of it every day. Even with Niantic Wayfarer, it just seems like there's still not enough waypoints within a certain town. It seems... It still seems like there's not enough waypoints, like... It still seems there's not a lot of POIs at certain locations, and I think that's really sad. There's players out there who want to be very passionate about Pokemon Go, they want to spend all the money that is required to get 100% IVs of legendaries, but they're not able to do a lot of raids, mainly because, well, there's limits to how many remote raid passes you can do, first and foremost, and where they live is completely barren of any Pokemon Go activity. These are some of the things that Niantic needs to think about. I don't necessarily care about stuff like party play and routes. What I want to see is more added benefits to playing po- What I want to see is more quality of life improvements for- what I really want to see is more quality of life improvements, especially for those who live in rural areas. I think they have been neglected for the longest time, and it's about time that Niantic did something for them. But yeah, these are just some of my thoughts regarding Pokemon Go. This is just kind of a video where I wanted to just unload my thoughts regarding this game. I think there are a lot of good things with Pokemon Go, but there continues to be a lot of bad things. So. Yeah, hopefully this was something that resonated with you. If it was, then make sure you comment your thoughts regarding Pokemon Go down below. I would love to know what the community is thinking because I think that is the biggest gauge for whether or not Pokemon Go is succeeding or if it is failing. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for making it to this point. If you ended up enjoying it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And also don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to every single patron on my Patreon. You all make this channel content possible. If you want to support the Compton Solo channel, the easiest way you could do so is by clicking on the links in the description below. One of them will take you to my Patreon page. If you become a paid member of my Patreon, you will get a permanent spot on my in-game friends list. So if you want to play Pokemon Go with me, like with remote raids or the friendship system, then make sure you go and check out my Patreon. And also, if you want to support my channel in a different way, you can do so by following me on social media. My handle is at Count Insula, and I'm on the platforms that you see on screen. And yeah, with all of that said, that's going to be it for this video. I'm Count Insula. be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.